Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Nyaro. And if you've been here, thank you, thank you so much for always supporting me. So I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how I got to get this look. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Without no further ado, let's head to the tutorial. So let's begin this tutorial. So these are the basic things you need for this sleek hair tutorial and um you can see i have the eco stella and the shen and jam so i'm going to be explaining to you guys why i have the two gels on this tutorial also if you want your hair to lay down flat and pretty well you can blow dry your hair before that or flat iron but i feel like flat iron has too much heat and i think my hair couldn't handle that so i always blow dry my hair full blow dry but not too too full because I do not want too much heat on my hair so yes so if you want the best results you can flat iron or straighten your hair completely yes so i'm laying down my hair completely with the combs and brushes because want it to be perfectly laid so that you do not put on too much gel so this is what i do anytime i'm doing a sleek hair tutorial i like it when my hair is very very flat because it's going to prevent me from using a lot of gel on my hair okay guys one thing i wanted to tell you guys before continuing is uh, make sure your hair is fully blow dried if you want it to lay down pretty well so i blow dried my hair um before this and you can use your shine and jam and your eco styler so if you feel like your hair is always dry while using this eco styler i think you can use this first then use this on top if you want it to lay down pretty well and if you want to lay your edges this is going to work well for you but if your hair is really really dry when you're using this alone use this first then this then let me know in the comment section what you think about that because this is a method which i feel like has worked for me as much as i do not want to use a lot of gel i'll have to use a lot of it either way so i am going in with the shine and jam at first because i feel like the shine and jam has oils in it that's why it doesn't dry up your hair so i don't know try this out then let me know um i feel like the shine and jam is better and safe for your hair so after using the shine and jam to lay down my hair at the front at the back and everywhere that's when i go in with the costella because i wanted to lay my edges at the front so So when it comes to my edges, I always want the simplest edges and not too dramatic. But then they look dramatic, but I try to make them look very, very simple. So yeah, you just take out some hair from your actual hair, then just swoop while going backwards. So you get some hair, then swoop towards the back soap yes it's so working on your edges can be quite difficult but you always want to have one finger that is holding your baby hairs then another one is going to control how it's going to flow 
like you can see like your fingers like your fingers need to get to work here because it's really really hard especially for this dramatic one that i'm doing here you can see i'm really really struggling So I'm going to use a flat iron, it's not fully heated, this is synthetic and I do not want it to burn so I'm just going to pass through it. So after doing that we just brush it so that you can see. See I think it looks better, it doesn't look like it has, like some braids are popping out. Okay so I know you guys are wondering like. How am I attaching this braid to my hair like this? Like, what is this? And let me tell you guys, TikTok does the thing like, I saw this method on TikTok and I was like, bruh, I have to try this out. I have to try this out. So this is the third time I am doing this and it has worked. So anytime I'm doing a sleek hair ponytail, especially at the back, this comes through a lot it looks perfect and amazing i feel like it looks really really nice when it's done like this also while doing this make sure you secure your braid to your hair very very nicely and tightly because you do not want it to come off and voila i know you're probably wondering like when is this tutorial going to finish but this is the last step on this tutorial so you are going to be taking a small extra braid from your extension then tie it around the base of your extension this is going to make it look more real and natural and afterwards i am going to take the got to be spray then spray it on top so that it can lay down completely yes and we are done with this tutorial guys we are done Sadly, this is the end of this video and I hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial and don't forget to give me a like. You can share this video if you think it's helpful to anyone you think it's also going to help. And don't forget to subscribe guys, don't forget to subscribe. We are on our road to 10k subs. So yeah, until our next video guys, bye!